have to go anywhere because this is the Talk Beat Jones. <laughs> is the Talk Beat Jones, and I am Billy E. Jones, and I uh, want to welcome you and thank you for being a part of the program today ro- worldwide. We have an exciting program today, a great, great guest that is a longtime friend, and uh, we're going to bring him on, and uh, you're going to get some education. You're going to understand what is going on in the soul beat world on TV 33 WHPR WHPS. So family, let your family know that let's get ready to get excited about some great information, great interactions today on the Talk B. Jones. Remember, you can watch Talk B. Jones every Wednesday live at 10 a.m. We have a repeat broadcast <clears throat> on Sunday at 4 p.m. on 152. Family, let's get ready to get ready to tell your friends Open up the television, live streaming, because we have this gentleman ready to come on the air. Sir, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Now, first of all, I want to introduce my guest. He is the CEO of Soul Beat Television, and we're going to get all the innuendos and all the other stuff out of the way, because what's happening with Soul Beat is moving straight up, moving forward. We're excited about the direction the Soul Beat is going in. And nobody can tell you anything about where Soul Beat is going except for the CEO of today's Soul Beat. Can I have today's Soul Beat CEO, Mr. Chuck Johnson, and tell us about your world, Mr. Chuck Johnson. All right, all right. How you doing today, Billy? Man, I'm getting a chance to talk to you, you know, reaching back home. Uh, we're doing that thing, and we've got two hands reaching out, putting them together as unity. That's what we're doing. we got the East. we got the Bay Area, all of, all of that. And we got the Detroit, all of this, hooking up with the Soul Beat. This is the way Mr. Chuck Johnson and Mr. R.J. Watkins and Mr. Henry Tyler had it going on before. Did you know that? Exactly. That's right. Go ahead and give them some, buddy. First of all, this is Detroit. I'm going to say what up, though. <laughs> oh, what up what up though that's it that's what it is that's what it is so so whoever do we get started off this soul journey tell so us uh, uh, go ahead go ahead no you're good you're the man uh, you're the man this is your show let me tell you out, chuck this is your show today this is your I show today you. do it so look mm-hmm. this is a, a story of Doug Johnson the original owner. Okay. He's a serious maven in the entertainment industry for over over 50 years, I would say. Okay. And he got started with Soul Beat in 1978, based here in Oakland, California. And Billy, those stories. Hold, 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 well uh, Ch- hold on, Chuck. Hold on, Chuck. Are you on a, are you on a speakerphone? Uh, if if you're on the speaker, okay, you kind of now we got it because see, I want people to hear you clearly, brother. This is very important. Thank you so much. Yeah, go right ahead. So, so in 1978, mm-hmm. Chuck got so started in Oakland, California, All right. and it went to 2003. And you know, Billy knows as well as I know, he was there the whole time with Mr. Johnson. Then I came along in the early 90s, and I started off as an intern as both. Well. Then eventually I became what's known as a master control operator. And then after master control operator, he learned how much I loved, loved hip hop time. And so I actually started producing my own hip hop. Oh, oh, okay, so, now, so. You, now, now here's what's happening. I'm going to sometimes repeat because I hear from my ear, hear the delay. And so mm-hmm. you started with Chuck Johnson, you was an intern, and then you mm-hmm. became a master control person. 
Yeah. And then you started doing your hip hop programming, etc. Exactly. But here is one other little caveat I want to throw out to the audience, to the family who may not know this. I was like another hip to Mr. Chuck Johnson on many of the issues, many of the things that he was doing, people that he was associating people in his thoughts. This young man that we're speaking of today, right now, his name is, what is your name, sir? Total name. My total name is Charles Edward Johnson. And what is Mr. Chuck Johnson's name? His name was Charles Edward Johnson. So right there, Mr. Chuck Johnson, Mr. Chuck Johnson found this young man. And I know personally, Mr. Chuck Johnson loved this man. He loved his potential. He loved his uh, talent. And he loved the fact that his name was Charles Edward Johnson. Johnson, uh, just like Chuck. But Chuck saw that this man had the business understanding. And this came during the time, family, that people saying, Mr. Johnson, you know, you got to get some young folk in there to be, get ready. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Chuck Johnson was grooming this young man. That was his idea. That was his vision. He was the one. I know this. Mr. Chuck Johnson spoke to me. So, uh, so as we're speaking of the person who returned and is bringing Soul Beat up out of the ashes of memory yes. and make it a reality, I just want people to know who you are and what you're about. So the folks who are with Soul Beat and who did not know, who may not have yeah. understood that Mr. Chuck Johnson looked at you as the son that could take the business and continue to move it forward. Now we can move forward. We can go into other discussions about that, but that's who you are, sir. Go right ahead. Wow. I really appreciate that. Oh, that's the truth. And, um, I can't get them. I, I tell people, I can't come on TV and lie. I can't come on TV and lie. Honest, right? Go right ahead, sir. And so I was 19 really when I got started with you guys. Yes. And, um, I started as an intern. So, he keep it real. He didn't know my last name for a long time. Cause I was I was intern. Yes. It wasn't until it was time to start paying me as a master control operator. Right? Maybe a year later, I signed a you know application and what have you. Mm-hmm. I put my name down all the way through, and he just he stared at the at the application like this is real. And from that point on, Chuck became like father figure, the big uncle to. My OD, my mentor, it's all right. Uh, okay, so now we, we're going to skip a little bit now because I, I just want to understand we got this situation that uh, you uh, have returned as a prodigal son. And now what are you doing with Soul Beat? What can we get excited about Soul Beat? And what are your needs? And uh, how can the alumni and folks who want to understand about this uh, uh, icon of a station from uh, Oakland, California, that actually Mark Cuban of the Dallas Mavericks, back in the day, folks may not know this, Soul Beat was one of the first stations, little big, that had the internet because Mark Cuban and Chuck Johnson met in Vegas during a convention and Mark Cuban, and he'll talk about that, the computer business. He utilized right. Chuck, gave Chuck the business of the computers and set him up. And that's how Soul Beat was able to have all of these countries in Africa, et cetera, as sister, state, sister uh, 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 stations with them because of Mark Cuban and the relationship that so, uh, Chuck Johnson had with Mark Cuban. Go right ahead, sir. Yes, and, and so people don't realize that Soul Beat was based in Oakland, but, but the visionary ability that Mr. Johnson had was, was just short because he would network all over the country, all over the world. And his goal was always to have Soul Beat worldwide. And he finally got that chance with, with Mark Cuban entering the uh, internet in yeah, yeah. 1998. Okay, you know what I want to do? Soul Beat actually broadcasting on broadcast.com mm-hmm. to give everybody some history. Okay. So, 
the reality is, is that I went, I went many years, even in my own life, saying what happened to so Clay, what happened to so Clay, and then after just literally hundreds of thousands. Oh, okay, Chuck, hold on, hold on, hold on, Chuck, hold on, a minute, Chuck. Hold on a minute, Chuck. Now, are you now? Here's what we're doing. I'm trying to make sure we got clarity. Mm-hmm. And are you in a one spot? Are you on your cell phone, or are you moving? Or no, I'm in one one location. My cell phone. Oh, okay. Now, I want you to go ahead and talk, but I just want to break in for a moment because sometimes the uh, a transmission that we have or goes over, sometimes the timing makes a little difference. I may be yes. hearing something that the audience is not hearing. They may be hearing clear, but I just want to make sure that everything that you're saying is heard. And also, uh, I do want to ask when uh, Mr. Tim Smith get an opportunity, I'd like to set it up so that he can join me on the air here. So he's doing a lot of things, but uh, I want him to know that he can switch up and come out here at any given time and join us because Tim Smith is Soul Beat as well. So, hey, shout out to Tim Smith. Oh, he's right here. He's the okay. man. Yeah, okay. So uh, go right ahead, sir. And just... Uh, so, mm-hmm. so so basically I was going to say a little bit, just was saying a little bit about Mark Cuban and his relationship with Chuck. And you're going to learn so much more about Soul Beat real strong because we worked real di- diligently to get the documentary done for Soul Beat Television. Mm-hmm. Yes. So in the meantime, I basically want to say the story was the community just with so much outpour of love and support for Sophie over the years. I finally just kind of said, you know what? I'm going to look up the, the name right and get the legal paperwork done properly and, and start managing the legacy. So currently we have uh, over five, six uh, social media platforms as well as our website. We have the uh, merchandise uh, for Soul Beat. You can check it out at soulnetwork.com. You can check out most of our activities on our Instagram or even our Facebook at Soul Beat Network. Soul Beat, um, so you say Soul Beat we've Network? Had okay. Some great concert series that we've been doing over the last few years. We've had Soul Beat Day, which is July 30th. Uh, we've got the Pocket from the mayor, uh, L.U. Harris. And so every year we have Pro. So we encourage, you know, Detroit family to kind of represent with us. And then we also, you know, integrate ourselves with the uh, the community slash governmental components of the city of Oakland. We do now, now, harm means now, so we now, even try to address, you know, violence and even help people find jobs. So that's just in the spirit of what Chuck Brown used to do with Soul Heat. Have you, you had 24 hours, seven days a week, black experience? And every section of our community was on our platform. So tell I me something. Think, okay, tell me something. That. Did you have, do you, have you established the relationship with the uh, political folks in the Oakland Bay Area? I met with the mayor of Oakland uh, just, just past Thursday. Okay. You, you met with the present mayor of Oakland? Yes, I did. How did you get that relationship? Well, Again, Soulbeat actually created a uh, Mario candidate's town hall, mm-hmm. and she was a part of it when she was running for mayor. And to be honest, she felt very comfortable with our people and even with our um, platform. Mm-hmm. And she feels that we we were at a strong support for her, in, in which she ended up getting into office. Oh. And so when we, you know, shout to her to say, "Hey, we like it." be one of her you know, extensions to be able to talk to the community. She, she met that with open arms and met with the discussion. Okay. Okay. And uh, so I know that uh, Mr. Johnson felt very strongly about uh, establishing the legacy of Soul Beat and the political folks as well, because we have a, a young man um, that's still there, Mr. Leo Brazil, who a uh, two-time council person who also was a uh, person that, came to Soul Beat, a Soul Beat celebrity in, uh, person that came and gave information to the community. And so he's with me here in uh, Detroit, been with me for about almost seven to eight years uh, by telephone communicating. Yes. Please continue. 
Yes, yes. Leo, Leo's my, my buddy, man. And <laughs> like you said, Sharp, he's been knowing how the city runs for, for decades. That's right, that's uh, right. Leo. One thing I love about Breaking Back Soul Beat is it's the ultimate, multi-generational platform now. You know, we mm-hmm. want to reach out to the youngsters of today, and we want to preserve our OG legacies. So what is it, how are the uh, folks who were uh, brought up doing Soul Beat or uh, Soul Beat? <laughs> how are they reflecting with uh, the new Soul Beat coming, from, coming around? It's beautiful. Great. Because Great. Uh, even shout out to uh, U.J. Robinson, the original uh, singer of that song. Mm-hmm. We even hooked up with him. Who is that? And him. And wait, who, who did you say? Is, wait, who is, this, who, is Nate, who is the singer? If I'm not mistaken, it was Eugene Robinson. Eugene Robinson? Yeah. Ah, okay. You know who wrote the song? That's, he wrote it. Okay. The person who wrote the song... Um, is actually um, Mr. Rock, but he he is a guy that uh, I went to school with, uh, went uh. to college with, uh, who is a uh, fantastic, and he is doing wonderful stuff, real great stuff to still today in the music business. So thank you for acknowledging him. Go right ahead, sir. Yes, exactly. A, a teacher also at uh, SS Bay as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so and so. The response has been great. Um, I actually took this on, i say about 2019, 2018. Mm-hmm. And so the first event we did was so Day, and it brought back all of the OG alumni from Trina Labatt, Mr. Robinson, to um, Rock, and just so many individuals who, who came up with Sobe. And then the following year, I did a concert with some artists from the Bay Area that pay homage to Oakland, Oakland and so be given a big start, like the Looney and this guy by the name of Drew Down, his brother named Mr. Fab, among others. They came back as a young generation who had their hip hop videos being aired on the channel. They came through and did a great, great performance. And so we just kind of carried the torch with that, did a couple more concerts. Again, if you go to our Instagram, you could get a whole beautiful taste of what we've been doing over the years. Because, again, we've been matching some of our old footage with some of the new current uh, projects that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know, Too Short, you go to Too Short, you go to, uh, what's that guy about Rock the Bells, uh, Hammer? Uh, yeah, we got hammer. You go, you go to uh, uh, the uh, what's the group with Easy with E Forty was in it. Uh, uh, e Forty and Clit. Yep, and uh, Tony, 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 and uh, Tony, Tony, and Tony. I can go on and on and on. I want folks to understand that Digital those folks, those folks, were given the breakout move by Soul Beat. We Correct. had the thing; they had a, a program that they came and we uh, performance every. Saturday at the Foothill Square and the guys, those entertainers would come and new artists, people writing their own music and such would come and perform. It would be like the gong show. It was like the gong show, but it was our bong show. Right. And uh, so, so, yeah, so we broke out. Ballot. Yeah, so we broke out artists. There was a guy who kept coming up there, kept coming up there, and he kept couldn't get it together, couldn't keep getting it together. Then one night he had it all together, and do you know that his music went to the top of the charts in the Bay Area? Yeah. So we have breakout folks, and Too Short, Too Short sold his music out of the trunk of his car, but he also put his Cadillac <laughs> in a lottery, in a, in a, you know, like you, you buy a ticket. Through Soul Beat, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, the, the guys love Soul Beat, and I'm happy yeah, that really you are bringing did. back Soul Tupac. Beat. To, Don't to, forget Tupac. Yeah, now Tupac. I mean, uh, two people now. When Tupac was at the top of his game, Soul Beat had gotten a movie theater. We had a movie theater in the Eastmont Mall, mm-hmm. and we had the artists that would come, such as Tupac, and talk and be interviewed with the students and the, and the folks that was coming at the movie theater. Yes, sir. 
we did that. He, Chuck Johnson did that, had a movie theater himself inside East Mott Mall. Go right here, sir. Right. And, and Chuck has such heavyweight relationships in the, in the entertainment industry, whether it was in the movie world or even the music world. They all knew when it was time to do some type of new release, they would come to open and get on live TV or pre record content was developed with, with Doug Johnson. And, you know, whether it was the Ice Cube, whether it was, you know, Dolomite movies. Uh, Dolomite, uh, Barry White, mm -hmm. and that guy named Isaac Hayes. These were also mm -hmm. artists that Chuck Johnson had featured in different forms, formats that he, that's right, the different formats that he had put together. These are the big time guys that later on, but folks who started with Chuck Johnson, this was a bad man. And that's why his legacy will never die. Exactly. Every time you see the so every, every time you see Billy Jones come on TV from 2000 out here from 2005 six, you've always seen the picture of Chuck Johnson with me. That will always be in my heart. Everywhere I go, what things I do, Chuck is with me, and like you, you are and I, we are now united. You are soul beat you are the we man. are so beat we are so beat but i'm saying you are the leader you're yes. making these decisions and what is it how hard is it for you to do what you're doing bro tell us it's a hell of a dance man come on brother because um, I'm, I'm 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 bridging the, the older traditional story of so beat mm -hmm. while have been defined in these days and time where you know Sobe was on broadcast television. It was live. And eventually it was on the internet. Now today, for the most part, everything works within the internet world or you would even have a streaming service. And so my goal is to initially have a streaming service eventually. And it's, and it's time for the young to come along as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's important that, again, I tell the stories of the old school time that it got started but definitely make it cool and current where the youngsters want to gravitate to it. Because let's face it, they, you know, not to go too far in the history so long, but we was on television. That's right. You know, when, That's right. When black folks really didn't have a thing to be on television. Now these youngsters grew up with YouTube on their phone. They got iPhones. And so they, they really don't know how we grew up really having limited ability to see us on television you know so the, now they even have their own phones and their own platforms so they like i do tv and it's like nah y'all don't do tv y'all doing social media content it's a big difference well you know it's it's kind of like when the artists that would that sing would sometimes hear their music on the radio hey mom hey dad, i'm on the radio on the radio it wasn't like oh i'm on the tv i'm on the because black folks was not on tv per se so anything, right. anytime you got a chance, even if you want a news, hey, did you see me on, did you see? Chuck Johnson, one of the purposes, one of the rationale between Billy Jones and the fact that I have been on television so many years from the late 80s to still to 2023. When it comes to the fitness industry, I'm a master. That's mm -hmm. what I do. I am the master. I see what Makufi had on, okay? Uh, <laughs> that's doing a commercial. I'm doing a commercial right now of Sweet Tooth. Hmm. But anyway, if you could, if the, you could give him a little bit about your world now, wait, go cross over Jones' side, also your talk beat show. Tell, tell me about, about your history with so. No, no, I'm not. This is you. I'm, I'm just giving little clips, and the fact that okay. that I have been here was because of the fact that Chuck Johnson believed in developing his folk. He would take a person who he felt had something going on and then throw him out there in the raw and then grind him up and let him get shiny and shiny. So right. this that I do, it comes from the fact that inside of me, I carry Chuck Johnson. Mm -hmm. I carry Mr. R.J. Watkins now. I carry Mr. Henry Tyler now. So when I step to the mic, I'm always nervous every day, anytime, no matter how many years. But 
I've got the wonderful, great folks on my shoulders saying, you can do this, Billy. Like I'm saying to you, you're going to make Soul Beat great again, bro. We're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to speak more with Mr. Chuck Johnson, Soul Beat Television, and if there's a way that you can help him continue to raise up Soul Beat, we're going to find out how you can assist him. This is the Talk Beat Jones again. I am Billy E. Jones, also that Jones the Size guy. We're on the air every Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 11 live. We have a repeat broadcast on a Sunday from at from 4 to 5 on 152. And so tell your friends, like us, love us, share us. Be back shortly. You wouldn't have to go anywhere because this is the Talk Beat Jones. <laughs> This is R.J. Watkins. Coming to you to bring you some information about the number one detox in the nation. Lemon Burn. Lemon Burn helps to turn the fat into fit. It's for you, a happier, healthier you. Because you know healthy is the new beautiful. An all-natural way to improve your health. It promotes a healthy digestive system, attacks and reduces belly fat, as well as gives you energy. And to get yours today, call 313-868-6612. Don't forget to exercise and eat right. Justice for Mario Willis. Truth. Facts. Evidence. Matter. Log into justiceformariowillis.com. Read for yourself. Ready to put your podcast on iHeartRadio? Yes, your podcast on iHeartRadio. What about Alexa, Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, Android, or iPhone? Plus live TV streaming. Get your podcast seen and heard all over the world. Call 313-868-6612. Pre-recorded shows are accepted to be archived. This is a WHPR distribution platform. Download the app from the App Store. Go to WHPRTV.com. Channels available for lease 24-7 on Roku. Fire Stick or Apple TV. Coming soon, subscription and pay-per-view. Also, Block time is available. Get yours. Call 313-868-6612. That's 313-868-6612. Executive producer, R.J. Watkins. Program director, Henry Tyler. 107.5 FM, WGPR, HD2. Radio, we can see dot com. to go anywhere because this is the Talk Beat Jones. Yeah, that's the 23rd year uh-huh. that we've been here in Oakland. You know, not too many businesses get an opportunity to last that long uh, without takeovers or, you know, like uh, going out of business. But we managed to uh, keep our belts pulled in, and uh, we were able to make it 23 years. We were 23 years as of February the 4th, and we go into September. 
All right, we're seeing just small, quick clips of Mr. Chuck Johnson. So they won't be long clips, but I want you just to see a little Chuck Johnson there. Uh, Chuck, you didn't see that. You'll see it when you see it on demand. But we actually played Mr. Chuck Johnson live doing what he do. Okay. Uh, again, family, this is the Talk B. Jones. Again, I am Billy e. Jones. We have my special guest today, the man who is Chuck Johnson today. His life is Chuck Johnson, and he's raising up Soul Beat. So I'd like to find out, family, is there any way financially that Mr. Chuck Johnson can reach out to you and find a way to get some assistance? Because this is a large, wonderful undertaking he has. Uh, Mr. Chuck Johnson, you there? Mr. Chuck Johnson, you there? Hmm. Okay. Are you there? Okay. The connection. Are you there, Chuck? Hello? Chuck? Are you there, Chuck? Okay. Let's try the other number here. Caller, are you there? My connections is gone. Call are you there? I hope this doesn't last this long because otherwise I'm gonna have to switch over because I got to keep the program going. Hmm. Hold on just a second. Call are you there? Hello? Okay, I'm gonna give the phone to the engineer, let him see if he can get it in, and I'm gonna continue. Uh, working this but family what what is happening we're talking to mr. Chuck Johnson and also I have uh, mr. Leo Brazil uh, on the line here we want to make this part of our soul beat day type presentation are you there Chuck Leo. there you go Leo. Okay. No. This is what I want. But do it again. No, do it again. Leo? No, uh, Chuck? Do it again. How you did. Hello? Okay. Let's see. Live TV, family. family. Live TV. Oh, you cut him off. Okay. No, 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 please. Okay, Chuck, you there? Hello? I got to get him on. Okay, Chuck, are you there? The first day, family, we, this has happened to me the first time. Hello, caller, you there? Okay. I'm going to have to switch over. Call you there. Okay. Well, family, this is come come back on the two screen, um, so you can come out here, Mr. Tim. So, what we have here is a situation that someone says we're not going to have you talk about to Chuck Johnson today, right about now. But you've heard enough. You've heard a lot, and we're not going to stop trying to get him on the line. Let's see if we can try it again. Chuck, are you, okay. Chuck, are you there? I need somebody to talk to me. I need somebody to talk to me. Chuck, are you there? Okay, got to do it one more time. I'm have to run. Chuck, are you there? Okay. So, family, we can't continue with that, but doggone it, we had a, such a wonderful presentation. I want to let you know that Chuck has a documentary that he is doing in uh, Oakland for the Soviet, camp, for Soviet family, and he is doing some wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, so, in the meantime, give me a moment to go to the telephone lines, and I'm going to turn over to the engineer to give me a little Soviet something, something. And I'll come back and hopefully I'll have the telephone lines for us. But I do want those who don't know, Soul Beat is an institution that is being brought alive 
by the young man, Chuck Johnson. We want to support him. We want to try to help him. And for those who didn't know about Sobe Television, is a pioneer television company business. And Mr. Chuck Johnson was a pioneer. And we want you to understand that around the world, if you didn't know the history, we want you to know that. So we'll be back. We're going to take a, a little something, something showing your soul beat. I'm going to work these telephones and see if I can get him back live, okay? All right, take it, Tim. Thank you. I want to say what's up to you and also to Late Night over there. I hear him in the background. How you doing? All right. All right. Hey, I um, wanted to know what what does the twenty three stand for on the on the Soul Beat shirt? Is that the shirt behind you there? Yeah, that's the twenty third year. Uh huh. That we've been here in Oakland. You know, not too many businesses get an opportunity to last that long uh, without takeovers or you know like uh, going out of business. But we managed to uh, keep our belts pulled in and. Uh, we were able to make it 23 years. We were 23 years as of February. Man, we went through about six, about six minutes, family. I'm sorry about that, but I knew it was important that we get him back on the air. Mr. Chuck Johnson, Sobe Television, uh, we were speaking about you doing a documentary. We were speaking about the fact that we are speaking a little quick because time has gone by while he was trying to get you on the telephone. So I wanted to know that we are working towards helping you to see if there's someone, people out there that may decide to help you with some money in terms of doing your documentary and doing other things with Sobe Television. So can you speak on, talk about that, please? Well, the reality is, is uh, we do need, it, need help from the culture because it is for the culture. So if you would like to reach out to me, I could reach the area code 510-776-4644. And even if you want to drop a million dollars, <laughs> you can go to our cash app, which is so now, 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 here, now, here's the thing. I want you to give that telephone number one more time because we want folks to hear it and say, wait, 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 I got some help for them. What's that number? If you it's want to call 510-776-4644. Five, zero, five, zero, zero, seven, seven, six, seven, seven, six, four, six, four, six, four, 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 four. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe I'm hearing an emergency broadcast something, something. So what I will need you to do is we're going through an emergency broadcast. So I'm not sure if that's interfering with the broadcast. It's not. Okay. So once again, your cash app. Our cash app. So be never. So, so be what? So be network. So beat network. Mm -hmm. That's the cash app. Yep, so it's dollar sign, it's dollar sign, so mm -hmm. no. Okay, so again, family, I encourage you that, you know, uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, Comcast, Kathy Hughes, got together, decided to put the black stations out of the business because they say the black stations were not serving the urban population, talking about black folk, and giving them enough quality presentations, etc. It was a process that they were putting the black stations out of business by charging an exorbitant amount of dollars per month. Not a per month, twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars a month is what when they got together they decided to charge the black stations that was utilizing the cable services. This station was also under attack. But fortunately, we had the warriors here that got out and marched. Mr. Minister Malik Shabazz led that march. 16, 18 months. Soul Beat was one of those that went under along with others. So I want to let you understand, my brother, that you have a voice. Mr. R.J. Watkins, Mr. Henry Tyler, not only survived, but have thrived and have given me a place at the table. And I'm extending the table to you because Mr. Johnson, Mr. R.J. Watkins, Mr. Henry Tyler saw a vision and they worked it. Let's continue that vision 
Let's continue to do it. Let's not make this be the last time that we do a soul beat presentation, my brother. Okay. I'm, I'm here. I'm here anytime. I appreciate this platform this morning. And again, we love to get to know our Detroit family because if you want to, I don't know how much time we got. Tell them a little bit about the history of Detroit, Oakland, and Mr. Johnson, and even um, the WGPR family. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hey, Tim, you going to come out? Oh. Hmm? Okay. He's taking care of some business. That's just, it's, it's not easy being the engineer of live shows, family. <laughs> it's all good. Big Tim, man. Real good times. He was dope. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was trying to trying to get him because I I want the family to be together, and you know Tim is as much as he is the Soviet family member here. In fact, so in fact, I am here because when I came to Detroit, Tim was the person that reached out to me and came and got me off the porch of my house and brought me to the station, and that's how I got started back here. Mm. But yeah, so. And even the story with me and Tim, he sent me a clip. Get this, really? He did what? He sent me a clip where on Martin Lawrence's show, Mark, he met the soul beat on his TV show. Uh-huh. So that's how connected Detroit has been with Oakland. Because if we recall, Chuck was just saying our content program from Oakland to Detroit to be broadcasted. Hey, uh, uh, Mr. Johnson, uh, we are joined now by Mr. Tim Smith, so I'm going to step away from the microphone let Tim talk it, take it because... Uh, Chuck Sizzle, what's going on, man? <laughs> Tim, Tim, what's going on with you? Oh, man, good to hear from you, man. Grand Risings this morning, man. Grand Risings, yes, sir. Yeah, man, uh, well, let me just um, say a few things, man, because I want to commend you for uh, taking over. Um, man, it's a real big thing, man. And uh, and to be uh, was a coincidence to have the same name as uh, Chuck. It really brings. It's really special, man. So we uh, hey, commend man, I, you. I, I didn't write this. I didn't write this story. I'm just playing it. That's right. <laughs> just to trans translating it. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's it's a wonderful thing to keep going. Uh, real quick, how's the uh, the rest of the how the OGs? That you, have you talked to any of the OGs lately? Man, that's 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 all I love to do. Uh, I, I, I reached out to Trina Labat, uh, Pam Stern, mm-hmm. uh, Rock, uh, Linnell, Cleo. Uh, again, I talked with Leo Brazil. Okay, um, no, and Cleo. Just a little bit of everybody. Dolores Thompson. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good, man. And as long and as long as you got the Denise Smith. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Smith. As long as you got the great credibility from them, man, and Dolores, can't forget KBLH, uh, KBLX's own Dolores Thompson. You know, Scotties. she's done, yeah, she's done, um, number of narrative stories on, um, TV ones, unsung, and stuff like that. But man, you, uh, it's really big, man. It's real big. And I, and I've seen, uh, a couple of these soul beat days, man. I've been always trying to get there, but I'm soon I'm gonna get there, man. I've got to find somebody to, Work my shift, man, because it's rough down here, man. Because he's number come on, one. Come on, come on. <laughs> it's going to be uh, July 30th, this 2024, man. Exactly. We're working on it right now. You you guys got to be in it. Exactly, exactly, man, because, uh, hey, we, 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 we always there, man. We with you always in spirit. And uh, just keep the drums beating, man. Keep the drums alive. And uh, two connections, we're going we're gonna to get to you. We're going to get to you. Right, and you and you and you keep sending the pictures and and, and the footage of Martin Lawrence uh, talking about folks. <laughs> hey, man, that hit right on time. Well, you know, I was real quick. I was a real Martin Lawrence. I was man. I was a binge watcher of Martin. So you know, when I seen it, I said, you know what? No, he did not. <laughs> Say so, soul beat, soul beat that's and put right. soul beat on TV. So on TV. you know that you know what that tell you right there, man. I tell you, we cut Detroit Oak. Oh. You know what I'm saying, uh, and, and Linnell had some. In a way, I kind of know Linnell running into Martin had maybe had something to do with the writers putting that in that script on Martin. You know what I mean? So, man. So, well, go ahead. 
Go ahead. No, you. So other than that, man, uh, real quick, my my experience with Soul Beat, you know, um, once I came out the military, out the Navy, I was still in Oakland, and I conceived my daughter. What's up, Raven? I conceived my daughter out there. Beautiful so, young lady. Um, once I got out the Navy, I said, well, I'm still a TV type of guy. So all of a sudden, I seen out watch TV one day, and I saw Rock on uh, Comcast. Hello, Rock. I see him doing that. I said, Sobe. Oh, that's Sobe. Okay, this is the Sobe that when we're at GPR, 3146 East Jefferson here in Detroit, after we have recorded a couple of scene shows at night, uh, the guys in the back will play. Man, we got so many. We had, we had. You hear what I'm saying, Chuck? We had all those uh, three quarter inch tapes, but uh, the management down there said they had lost all of them, man. So I'm really upset with that. But you know, it is what it is, man. You know, you can't take the spirit away. You make it take a couple of tapes away, but you can't take the spirit away. Well, that's why right. we're talking about the rise. That's what we're talking mm-hmm. about. What we have, we know the foundation was there. It's like a church. You can burn that foundation, that, that building, that, that physical part, but you can't burn right. and get rid of that that is solid. Soul Beat was solid. It was built solid. It was mm-hmm. built to last. They say, I was built for this. Right. Soul Beat was built for this pro- project to come back, and he put the name of you, Charles Edward Johnson there you go. to be the man to say I am the CEO I'm going to get slapped I'm going to get beat I'm going to get kicked but guess what Chuck got stomped he tried to get <laughs> hanged yeah. he tried to get spit on yeah. he got all these other good things so brother you just another Chuck Johnson that's taking all of that but guess what still I rise there still soul be rise well, go. Well, soul well, be will rise you got me my brother yes it's so it's- I Hey, I see somehow we're going to send out a kite to the, uh, the Detroit family. Maybe somebody got the DR tape um, to add it to it. Right. Uh, when, you know, Soby used to air out there in, in uh, Detroit. Yes, exactly, exactly. And, man, we uh, and give all the, all the cats out there, all the rappers out there, uh, we vibing off Oak. We love Oakland music here. You know, even I played three times crazy. I even play your boys, uh, Champ Green and them. Oh, oh, no, you know, Champ Green was on my show okay, recently. Okay, wait, wait, okay. You know? wait, wait, hold on, Chuck. Hold on, Chuck. Hold, hold, hold on, Chuck. Hold on, Chuck. I heard something that I didn't realize. Tim, did you say your show? Yeah. You played, you, tell him what you do on your show. Oh, man. Oh, he know about Timmy Tim Live. Uh, uh, he, know, hit uh, him up. Hit we him up. Play, oh, I, you know, I play all Oakland, man. I play Rance Julian, man. I be playing Kelda music, man. I be playing Champ Green and them, man. D- uh, D-Boy the Mac. Man, everybody, man. They all got mad and, love and, for and all And all your wonderful yeah. intros. Yeah, man. It's, it's a what, beautiful what, thing. What time did he see you, man? Oh, well, we come on at 10 o'clock. Every uh, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 o'clock at night on Comcast, Channel 90. And also with my boss, man, <laughs> let me throw it on at 12 o'clock on Saturdays. I really do appreciate it. Big oh. ups to RJ. You know, get well, bro. All right. And, um, yeah, it's a wonderful thing. But what, real quick, because we got so ain't got too much time. You got to okay. sign up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chuck, keep the fire going. I'm there. I'm going to be coming, man. I'm gonna and if you can, give, give me a cut of some of your show, man, and I'll put it on the platform. Oh, no Make doubt, no doubt, man. With, oh. What format do you need, MP4? Yep. All right, I got you. No problem, man. Once again, man, keep the beat, drums beating. Tell everybody we love them, man. And uh, we'll be back, man. We'll be back. Hey. Nah, well, I hey. mean, you know what I'm saying? Come to Detroit, y'all going to come to Oakland. Exactly, exactly, man. Hey, you saw the Raiders one, right? Uh, uh, and, and here's the deal. Detroit is a winning so as you see, Detroit and Oakland, they're on the what the path to be winners. You see Soul Beat out here in Detroit. They see the Talk Beat Jones. They see Billy Jones, Soul Beat. We're uniting. We're doing what our visionary persons put in our hearts. We are uniting. We're spreading the word. We're going to spread the word because this is the first trial expanding the ideology 
of WHPR, WHPS, and Soul Beat from time to time. Because the world needs to know that these black companies, these two black businesses, these processes of one that survived and one that is being revived. And that's what we're going to do, bro. We're going to work this. We're going to work this. And we're going to make it to the point where you, Mr. Chuck Johnson, will be the tip of the tongue that folks will say, so will be Chuck Johnson. And it's not looking backwards. We're looking forward with you, with you. Now, let me do this. I'm going to see if I can get Mr. Leo Brazil on the air. I'm going to put you on hold. And if there's something difficult, difficulty, if there is something that you want the folks to contact you, give that information real quickly one more time. Again, your reach is at 510-776-4644. You go to our website, which is www.soulbeatnetwork.com, and you catch me on social media at Soul TV on Instagram and Soul Beat Network on Facebook. And uh, you want them to be on the lookout for that documentary that you're still putting together, correct? Yes, sir. Be oh. on the lookout for the, the feature film, uh, the Soul Beat documentary. Okay, and uh, hold on so we'll see if we can get Mr. Mr. Brazil and we'll see if we can bring you back, okay? Hold All on. good. Sir, are you there? Hmm. Okay, Mr. Leo Brazil, are you there? Leo Brazil, are you there? Okay. Here we go. Are you there, sir? Okay. I'm um, giving me one more shot at him, but I'll just put him on hold. And Chuck, did I get you back? Okay. So we're gonna do a close out, keep them on the air, so that me and Lions so they can hear. But family, what we're doing here today, as we see the versatility of Talk B. Jones, when you tune in to the Talk B. Jones, you never know what style what direction, what flavor we're going to present to you. But all we ask you to do is tell your friends about the Talk Beat Jones. We're on the air every Wednesday from 10 a.m. until 11. We have a repeat broadcast in case you miss the live version. We have the time on at 4 p.m. on the station 152 for the rebroadcast. Now, today... Today's date, you can pick it up, TV, go to YouTube, TV 33, on demand. And you can see this show and any shows on a Wednesday that you go back and you can see the history of the Talk B. Jones talk shows. It's wonderful to be knowing that from now on, all that we say on this station will be for your children and your children's children for all times to be able to see what was going on. Family, we love you. We appreciate you and you see that we're asking you to continue to grow with us. By the way, let me make this announcement about Jones's size. I am Billy E. Jones, Jones's size. We've been speaking about bringing it back talking about getting it back together. We've determined September the 30th, check this out, for the folks who have been waiting for Billy E. Jones, the Jones of Size, we will, we will launch our Jones of Size Zoom, the date, September the 30th. Once again, Pass the word, share the video, let folks know. September the 30th, Jones Size Zoom. We're going to come on the air. We're going to go out there around the world. And like I said before, Tina Turner said, we're going to start this thing off easy. We're going to start it off easy. 
And then we're going to get rough because we don't want to hurt nobody in the beginning. But we're going to get you ready to get rough, tone, firm, fine, feeling good with the Jones size. So family, speak to your family. Let them know. If you have problems, you want to start getting in shape. You want to start just feeling good. You want to learn how to love your body. Jones size. I am Billy E. Jones. I've had a wonderful time. I'm so happy to be able to have Mr. Tim Smith come out and be on the air with me today. Great to have Mr. Chuck Johnson, CEO, Sobe Television. And I have Mr. Leo Brazil, who's been right there listening. And we'll bring him on next week to talk about things. We love you. Please love your body. Express love to those that love you. Bye, Dad. Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye now. You don't have to go anywhere because this is the Talk Beat Jones. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.